Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a plan with me for the third week of January. And I'm going to try to keep this one a little shorter than last week. So I'm going to have just write about what I'm doing for the kids, but I'm not necessarily going to talk the whole time to keep it a little shorter and a little easier to watch so that you can actually see kind of how I take each week and how weeks are different and how we plan and work around that. And this is actually going to be a fairly normal week, I assume. We will see what happens Last, the last week got a little off with some crazy weather, and so we'll see what this coming week brings if we, because we probably will not be able to get outside much at all this coming week because it's going to be so, so cold. So that makes, that means we're going to do a little extra schoolwork and probably even add in some things like some game time and stuff that are assigned to help keep everybody productively occupied so we can have some good days and handle the fact that we're going to be inside and cooped up. Okay, so I am going to start on the week of January 15th. Now, I will also apologize ahead of time for any kids' voices that you hear. They cannot be outside. It is, I think, negative 20 or something outside. So they are inside and they are wound up. I got some new stickers. Look at these. These are so cute. These are from the Black Dog Sticker Company. I don't treat myself to a lot of fun stickers because... It adds up really fast if you're not careful. But I got, had some Christmas money and I wanted to treat myself because aren't these so, so cute, these little pink ones? And I didn't get them in, I didn't order them in time to get them at the beginning of January, but I got them now. And then I got some, for, I went ahead and got some for February. Same kind of thing. Aren't those cute? I thought those were adorable for February. So gonna save those back for February. But I am going to start, so I always like to start by marking off my extras column and my meals column. My extra column is for things that the kids have going on that doesn't necessarily affect me. So this would be if they have a job, um, if they have to go to work, if maybe they have a birthday party or something that I'm dropping, an activity that I'm, doesn't really affect my time. That will go in there. There's not always a lot of those, but they do come up and I need a spot for them. And then down here, I will mark that off. And that is our meals. I usually put dinner in, but sometimes when I'm starting to feel less creative and lunch is starting to stress me out, I'll even start filling in lunches. Lately, that hasn't been a problem, but sometimes I just get where I get to lunchtime and I don't have anything I want to make for lunch. So when that starts to happen, I fill in lunches just to help keep my mind thinking. Okay, so then I always block off Sunday morning for church. Oh, those are just the cutest. I, I really love those stickers. Okay, and then Saturday, I also got these little labels. Aren't they adorable too? I'm going to use the pattern ones first. Saturday, we have a basketball game. Okay. Oh, that is crooked, but that's okay. We can do crooked. We have basketball. And then, let's see, what else do we have going on this weekend? Oh, we have co-op. So I have some really fun co-op stickers. Farmhouse Maven, actually, is a friend of mine and made these for me. Aren't they adorable? I just love them. Okay. I also don't know how our Tuesday is going to go because we normally do piano on Tuesday afternoons. However, <laughs> I'm not sure our piano teacher is going to be able to get out of her driveway yet. So I am probably going to put it on there, but I also know that it is likely that that won't happen. I really just, I have no idea. This weather has been absolutely unbelievable. Okay. Wednesday night we have church and I like to use these little verse stickers but I think I'm going to put them on Ooh, what if I did one of these mm, I need to cut that I didn't bring scissors I need to go grab scissors Church is going to start, starts at 5.15, and we'll have kids there until 9 o'clock, I think. I don't know. 
we'll see. So we'll put that there and then we will put the verse on top. Oh, I like that. Okay. I had trouble finding, if anybody knows of any stickers like these that have verses on them, let me know. I love these little stickers that have verses, but I have, I struggle to find very many of them. Like that's, this company was the hopeful planner, I guess. Maybe I should look and see if she has any more. Because it does say one, Faith Quotes one. Maybe there's more of her site. And then, oh, Thursday we have basketball practice. So we will put that on there. And it is late on Thursday. Well, late for me. I am an early getter upper and I can't write. Basketball. Okay, you can tell we do not do a million different activities. We are happy to spend lots of family time in the evening. Sometimes we do more activities than others, and right now is a time where we don't have a lot going on, and we are okay with that too. And then Friday night, we are going to a friend's house. Okay, I'm not gonna write their name in, but dinner at their house. Okay, so then let's fill in meals. Now, I'm actually, the last couple weeks, I've spent a lot on groceries. If you go watch my grocery hauls, you can see that. It's more than I normally want to spend on groceries. So I'm gonna try to adjust our meal plan a little to account for that and use up some stuff that's in our freezers because our freezers are absolutely full. Okay, so I have stromboli and pork cubes these two days. Wednesday will actually be at church. It's usually leftovers, but now we are eating at church, which is awesome. And then Thursday, oh, I have something else I need to put on my planner, but I'll do that in a minute. Thursday, I have egg casserole. Friday night, I just need to take dessert. So Friday night, I'm going to take dessert. It's another big family, so it'll be a lot of dessert I'm taking, but it'll be good. And I need to, do I want to make egg casseroles on Thursday? Actually, I'm going to do turkey noodle soup on Thursday. Because I'll be home all day, and so I can have time. That's one of the, th oh, if I go to the store. Can't change that if I don't go to the store. Trying to think. See, I'm trying to change my meal plan after I've already gone to the store. I'm going to put turkey noodle soup, and if I get to the store, then I will get the stuff and make it. If I don't, I'll do the egg casseroles that I planned, although we're running out of eggs, so it'll probably be something else. Yeah. Okay. And then Saturday, I have sweet and sour chicken. I need a crock pot meal because we have basketball till 5, and so by the time we get home, it's going to be pushing 6. So I will put the sweet and sour chicken in the crock pot, rice in the rice cooker, and then Costco has these like Asian veggie mixes, and I will just have a kid that's actually here throw some of that in a pan or on the in the oven or something and cook that. And then Sunday, I always like to do a crock pot meal. Ooh, I have sausage tortellini soup. That'll be good. We have not had that much. And that's great because I have some kale in the freezer I need to use up. So that'll be perfect. And then I do have one other thing I need to put on here. I think I'm going to use my highlighter to do it. I have these highlighters. Um, they're the midline highlighters. Because this is something that I am starting where I'm going to tutor a kid. And we haven't worked out all the details yet. So I'm not sure... If it's going to be every day, but I'm going to plan it for every day this week, just so I, as I'm planning, I'm planning around that, if that makes sense. So I am going to highlight all of this box. I haven't used these much. This is really dark. Well, that is not, does not look as nice as I thought it would, so... Next time I will try a different highlighter. I have some highlighters from the Daily Grace Co. that I really like, and I will try those next time. So these work really great for making little dots if you're trying to make like a checklist, but I'm not sure I love them for that. Now I need a black pen. 
I don't seem to have one. Okay, so I'm not even going to worry about writing that in because I know what that's for and I can write it in later. Like I said, I'm not sure it's going to be every day. We're still working out the details and it's a new thing. So new things are different. I think that's everything for my week. So from here, I will just fill in the school. What we are trying to do is we are trying to use Friday mornings as a 4-H morning. So we one thing, we'll do some health. And then they will often work on their own projects at that point. Whatever project they're kind of in the middle of, they'll take some extra time to work on it and they'll or figure out a new project. We also I would like to work on watercoloring, watercolors, and have them do at least one or two practice videos. But it works. Sometimes it's okay if they do it all together, and sometimes it's better if they do it separately. So that is what we will do Friday morning. And then I need to also put in Friday afternoon. Where did my sticker? There it is. Friday afternoons, we clean house. I need to have that, a time set aside to do that, or I start to get really stressed out about when am I going to fit it all in. And so that time works well. And then trying to find my other stickers. I need to organize, there they are. I need to organize my stickers. Friday morning, I balance our checkbook and pay any bills that need to be paid. And that will be a day. I definitely have a lot to do there. And then Thursday, I need to go grocery shopping and I will do that Thursday afternoon. I'll have, hopefully I'll have that. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that Thursday morning. Ooh, I think I will so that I can do that pot of turkey noodle soup. Because I, yeah. Oh, that did not peel up well. I usually go Thursday afternoons. It works better than going in the morning. But since I'm changing things around, we've gone through more eggs than usual. And so unless I go shopping before then, I'll put that first thing in the morning. And then we'll do some school in the afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write in our school now. And just so you can kind of see my plan. And then I'll work on the kids' school planners. Okay, so there's a quick fill-in of who I'm going to get each day. I did think it would be nice. I was going to see if my kids wrote anything. I was going to show you just kind of how our previous week changed. So we ended up canceling co-op, so I just took a whole big sticker and put it on top of there and changed it around. You can see I mark off what I did, and then by the time I got to Thursday, I realized that my order was going to be off based on kids I had not gotten to on Wednesday that I needed to get to. We played in the snow for quite a while on Wednesday because it was going to be the only nice day to do so. So by Thursday, so I just came in here and I wrote numbers on my priorities for that day. So that helped me to take time to think about what priorities I need to have for Thursday because it's our last full day of actual school. So just kind of give you an idea of how that looks. So our weeks do change. Okay. Now I will put this to the side and bring over the kids planner. This is the one where they do get to, they mark off their school assignments. Hold on, I'm going to cover something up under here. One of my kids thought they should write their names. Oh, not that one. This one. One of my kids went through and wrote all their names in there. So there you go. That gives you an idea. You can see the little check marks. I know stuff got done that day. She just didn't mark it off. We just wrote down how much co-op we got done and filled in. And then some other things got filled in along the way. We did PE by playing outside. We ended up not having co-op, so I gave some assignments. I write their co-op assignments over there. And so when they start this week, we will start on Monday with everybody having co-op assignments. Okay, so there you can see what I've done for the week and what I think our week will look like. As you can see from what I showed you from last week, I have no problem changing things around, adding things, subtracting things, just kind of based on what our week is. Sometimes it's hard for me to guess how long certain subjects or things will take. They also, of course, have the dams that they're meeting with me, and we do try to do pretty full school days, but we try to add in some fun. I'm putting the elliptical on some of the older kids. Because without being able to get outside and move around, it's good for them 
to be able to get around and move and the one doing basketball just to build up little stamina of running around because we haven't been able to do that. So I hope that gives you just an idea of how I plan at our homeschool so that we can be flexible. We don't have set times that they have to do each thing. They get to choose. So on the day we have a game, they'll probably choose to do that first thing. The only thing that's timed is our group time is almost always at 11 a.m. So we can get it done before lunch. Otherwise, I allow them the freedom to choose, except when I'm ready to teach them, they have to drop what they're doing and come teach, come do schoolwork with me. I've tried the super strict schedules before. I have a video coming out on homeschool schedules I've done, and there were times in our life that it worked. Right now is not one of those times because it can vary with some kids that it may take me 15 minutes or it may take me 45 minutes. So I want to have that variety, but I'm not stuck to my schedule. My schedule is there to help me. And so I'm very excited about having Fridays be our 4-H mornings. That's super fun, too. So hope that gives you some ideas. Let me know what um, school planner you use. I am using a simple plan. This is from Mardell. I am already starting to look for my homeschool planner for next year. So if you have one that you use that you really love, let me know what which one you use. I really need to be able to have some kind of grade sheets in it for my older kids. That's my big thing. So Hope that helps you. Let me know what you guys are using. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. Please leave a comment if you have something else you'd like me to talk about or you have any questions. Please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos about what we do.